In the tranquil landscapes of the Bay Area, an enigmatic spectacle has unfolded, one that has left residents both bewildered and mesmerized. It's not a bird, nor is it a plane, but rather delicate, webby white clumps that seem to cascade from the heavens. These ethereal formations have led experts to coin this phenomenon as ballooning or kiting, a mesmerizing occurrence that unfurls like nature's own mystifying magic trick. As the San Francisco Chronicle has documented, this yearly occurrence has become a staple of the Bay Area's natural tapestry. In a scene reminiscent of dandelion seeds carried by the wind, baby spiders embark on an extraordinary journey, suspended by silken threads, in search of new territories in which to establish their homes. What they are is strands of silk that spiderlings, baby spiders, use to disperse, explains Fred Loraby, an assistant professor of biology at San Jose State University. To get away from where they're originally born, they spin these silk strands, and they get caught by the wind, which pulls the spiders to a new place to live, to new habitats, so they're not competing with their siblings. While it might seem like something out of a fantasy novel, the truth is far more fascinating. Ballooning is a technique utilized by a diverse range of spider species, including crab spiders, wolf spiders, and orb weaver spiders, all of which call the Bay Area their home. The threads they spin as babies can sometimes clump together, creating the webby clouds that have stirred the curiosity of countless onlookers. By the time these silken strands finally reach the ground, the spiders have typically journeyed onto their new homes, leaving behind a spellbinding, ephemeral spectacle. Lynn Kimsey, distinguished professor of entomology at UC Davis, provides further insight into this mesmerizing phenomenon. She describes the spider's launch as they reel out a wall of fluffy thread and go flying. It's a breathtaking sight, and as Kimsey notes, it's totally awesome. The audacious endeavors of these baby spiders are nothing short of astounding. Remarkably, they can soar as high as three miles into the sky while ballooning and can even traverse vast bodies of water, harnessing not only the wind, but also the electric currents that permeate the atmosphere. It's a testament to the intricate and awe-inspiring beauty of the natural world. But what intrigues many is why there appears to be an abundance of ballooning spiders in the Bay Area as of late. While it's true that baby spiders often employ this method for dispersion during the spring and fall in Northern California, the recent increase in spider clouds has experts scratching their heads. As the San Francisco Chronicle highlights, spider populations go through cyclical boom and bust phases, making ballooning more conspicuous in some years compared to others. The surge in ballooning spiders this year might be linked to a combination of factors. Recent heavy rains in California have led to an increase in plant growth, providing a feast for insects, the primary food source for these eight-legged adventurers. Elevated temperatures might also play a role, as many residents first observed ballooning spiders during unusually warm October days. Though the sight of spider webs floating from the skies might initially alarm some, it's essential to dispel misconceptions. These delicate threads pose no threat to humans. In fact, their only potential downside is if they happen to drift too far from their native habitat and become invasive in a non-native environment. And so, the Bay Area residents have embraced this extraordinary natural spectacle, even finding a certain eerie charm in it, especially as Halloween approaches. But one can't help but wonder what's next in the repertoire of nature's mystifying magic? How many more secrets does the natural world hold, waiting to be revealed by the curious eye of humanity?